Welcome back. Let's talk weather. We still have this air quality alert active through those southern regions closer to the four corners. This air quality watch will stay active at least until 9 a.m. tomorrow. Mind you, it has been extended a full 24 hours. It was supposed to expire earlier today, but that's because of that fire that is burning down in Dolores. So keep that in mind. If you have those plans coming up, there could be some thick smoke, maybe a little bit of some low air quality, of course, as that continues. But locally, we do have normal temperatures in those kind of mid to upper 70s expected. The early work week could be looking to be even warmer. Cloudy afternoons ahead. We saw a lot of those clouds today. We're going to continue to see that tomorrow, but there is that warm weekend ahead. We've been talking about Juco. That Juco forecast again has maybe some light rain showers expected for Saturday, but then as we look towards Sunday, some sunny skies returning and afternoon highs still right around the averages, maybe a few degrees shy in the mid 70s. Now our future cast, like I mentioned, has some clouds sticking around, especially in those southern regions, and also we'll notice that some of those high regions are looking at some possible showers. That's going to continue through Friday and actually even into Saturday. We'll notice maybe a light chance for some showers on Friday night locally, but again, those temperatures are on that warm side of things. That rain is not likely to hit the ground straight on over to those mountainous areas and get getting just a tad bit of accumulation there above that tree line above 9000 feet. We could even get just a tad bit of some snow, but again, clouds coming and going maybe even through Saturday. Some nice coverage from that sunshine for Juco and maybe those outdoor activities. Activities. The wind gusts that we felt earlier today are on the calm down as well. We were seeing 30, 40, 45 mile an hour wind gusts as predicted. But again, tonight cool off. And even as we wake up tomorrow through Friday into Saturday, staying in those single digit mile an hours outside on America's mattress live tower cam, we aren't really seeing too much of that movement, but we were sure seeing that movement earlier with those high wind speeds. We're seeing that cloud coverage though. Now that temperature trend does have those mid 70s around. We'll jump up into the 80s in the early work week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, mid to upper 80s to be seen well above those averages. And speaking of this dry, this warm air that's moving on in at least locally, we still have that drought active. We'll even notice in a closer look over Glade Park is where that moderate drought is right now. And our pollen forecast hasn't really shifted. High tree pollen, low grasses, low weeds, just some moderate mold with us. Those high temps today, upper 70s, mid 70s for Montrose. We're on the cool down though, already in the low 70s and upper 60s. That almanac shows us that we are right around those averages and that's going to continue to be the trend for the next 24 hours. Of course, we're dropping down a tad bit cooler tonight, closer to the seasonal averages, maybe even a few degrees shy of those seasonal averages. But again, tomorrow jumping up to 74 degrees during the afternoon hours, specifically through a lot of these high regions is we might even be playing with those sub freezing temperatures. Gunnison, Aspen, Carbondale right below that 32 degree mark. Cover those plants if you are in those regions tomorrow, though, like I mentioned, 76, 72 Glade Park, 67 Moab 80s, though, and in Discovery Auto Group's seven day forecast, we do have that 50% chance for showers on Saturday. So keep that in mind if you are headed to Juco or if you're just headed out and about Monday Memorial Day, looking to be beautiful in those 80s. Then we'll start to see the upper 80s Wednesday. We might even be flirting with the 90s for the first time this year. Montrose isn't very far behind. Memorial Day also looking great in those upper 70s for those southern more regions.